Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, uh, I was dealing with a lot of loot and junk issues that I have now more or less rectified. Um, I've also picked up some of the things that I wouldn't have been able to pick up, uh, this included, and uh, bought a new set of armor for Leliana with some of the money from the Dragon Horde that I picked up along my way to here. Uh, it's a little skimpier looking, but it also gives her more armor and defense, so I can't really complain too much. Also gives her more dexterity as part of the armor, and the whole set also gives her a bonus to defense as well. Uh, the boots also give, like, plus three defense, so... She's sitting pretty good right now. Shale, as always, dressed in green. Morrigan, dressed in whatever I can throw her way. And me in heavy chainmail and the helm of Han Leith. Currently, uh, weapon-wise, we're still sitting pretty okay. And uh, tactics I changed up a little bit. Uh, I added... This technique uh, for health at around 25, I figure if they're going to run, best to try and stop them from running. That's in case I'm not on uh, Tomas at the time I'm doing that. Um, I've changed up everyone else's tactics a little bit as well. Uh, Morrigan should now be healing uh, significantly higher rates uh, because apparently I had her set at 25%. That is not good, but I don't think 75% is good either. That will probably blow through her healing capabilities real quick. So I'm just going to down that to 50%. That should be better, and we should actually see some healing doing <laughs> a lot faster and a lot more uh, commonly. Liliana's tactics are pretty okay, so I didn't need to do much with hers. Um, I think with Shale, she was doing pretty well as well, so I don't need to worry about that. And we're all good, I think, when it comes to that. It's just getting talents dealt with. I noticed now that I probably should have put another point in dexterity just so I could have gotten this. That was an oopsie-daisy on my part, but we'll live with it. Because uh, fixing it now would take too long. Now, uh, this was a thing I noticed on my way back. This is a last phylactery prompt that I don't remember seeing on my way here. So we're going to deal with this. Maybe it'll be something. Who knows? All right, all right. I'm just making you do the thing. Jesus. There is no obvious order to this jumble of miscellanea, but one item stands out a small glass phylactery. The main reason this jumped out into my head was me thinking, I already did the phylactery thing, is this a different one? The area is unnaturally cold. Dark shapes swirl around a slip of paper within the vial. Okay, let's take the vial. The glass fractures at your touch. Uh-oh, spaghettios. <clears throat> well, this ain't gonna be good. And I was correct! We're now fighting a revenant. Wahoo. Okay, well. Alright, so far so good. Doing damage. Doing decent damage. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, at least the healing's happening. It's not happening all the time like it should have, but it, it's doing better. All right. This could have been worse. This could have been absolutely worse, considering. Oh, it was immune. It was immune to what I just did. Are you for real? All right, well, for me, I guess. Stop blowing through her mana as much as I thought it would. Ooh. 
Nice. Hells yeah. Alright. Revenant. Ooh. Some decent stuff. Greater health poultice, which I always could go for bigger ones. Uh, an elixir of grounding. That would be decent money. And then a scrap of paper. I wonder what the scrap of paper is about. Dirt encrusted piece of paper. The black vials. And the stack, or rather, pile of sacks. Only has dark spawn dagger. Okay, that's not even worth trying. Okay. Um, in the other thing as well, I kind of didn't do much with it at the time. I'm going to constantly be doing that just because I'm trying to make sure I head in that direction. Uh, you remember where I got that earthen jug? Uh, there was also an altar over there. I noticed, again, on my way here uh, the second time around. And I was kind of curious what the jug would do with the altar. So let's go find out. Let us go find out. The altar is plain and covered in a thin layer of dust. Numerous carvings cover its surface, but most are eroded beyond legibility. Let's look at them a little more closely. Most of the carvings are faded. What little you can make out involves a scene where the honored dead is laid to rest inside a grand chamber. Okay. There seems to be some kind of process involving the altar before the body can be laid to rest, but most of those runes are illegible. Okay. Um, place the earthen jug on top of the altar, I guess. The filled jug is now on top of the altar. Um, kneel before the altar and pray? You kneel before the altar and pray, touching your forehead to the ground as depicted on the tablet. You feel a sense of rightness and approval around you. Okay. Leave an offering on the altar? No, that doesn't seem right. Um, examine the jug. The jug sits on the altar and is currently filled with water. Drink all of the water from the jug. Okay, the text isn't keeping up. That's weird. The water in the jug is cool and surprisingly clean. You replace the empty jug on the altar. A moment later, you feel very odd. Weird. I didn't notice anything when I was messing with the water before. Oh! Okay. Weird things are now happening. Oh, now I am asleep. Wahoo. Okay, well. This is weird. Okay. Well. That was weird. Hmm. Yeah, the water is surprisingly refreshing, but otherwise has no special effects. So... Yeah, water appears normal, and dipping your hand into it is cool to the touch. Okay, then... What just happened there? Something weird's going on. Shades happened. I don't... Hmm. Maybe leave an offering on the altar. You leave a few coins upon the altar. Immediately, you get the strong sensation that this is wrong. And without knowing why, you take the coins back. Okay. What if I take the jug off? It's currently empty. Take the jug. Nothing is on the altar now. Leave the altar alone. I refill it with water. You dip the jug into the water until it completely fills up. Leave the pool alone and put the alt. Put it on the altar again? Hmm. 
Or rather, I guess I just <laughs> spilled the water on the thing. I didn't really read what I was doing. Okay, place the empty earthen jug. Uh, nothing happens. Kneel before the altar and pray. Okay, nothing changes. Examine the jug. Take it. Maybe if I put it on there again with the water. Uh, fill it. Okay. Leave the pool alone. Now I'll actually read and place. There we go. Pray and leave the altar alone. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm just going to put that there. And maybe someone in the comments will give me some sort of insight. Some third or fifth eye, one might say. Some madman's insight. Eyes in the back of my head to tell me... What am I talking about? <laughs> to tell me what is going on there because I have no idea all right um we go this way again to go through I know these guys were carrying junk I remember that much because I wasn't even willing to pick that up even when I did have an in inventory space so currently right now I'm doing fine I'm like what 71 that's fine at least it lets me carry some things on my way out of here I have no idea what this is. None at all. And no way to figure it out. Doesn't let me really figure out anything. Oh. Okay, well. More skeletons. That's something. Okay. Well, this is going to be a thing. Okay. All right. Silver ring. Just a silver ring. A ring of fine silver filigree. And it doesn't do anything else. Okay, well. It's something to sell, if nothing else. Blank vellum. Okay, soldier's corpse. Lesser health poultice. Okay, that's still something. Lair of the werewolves. I can go up to the werewolves' lair from here? Interesting. Oh, that's a lot of good stuff right there. Okay, well. um, That was a skeleton. With some money. Is there stuff over that way? Or no, there were some enemies over there, but that was about as far as that went what I knew. Oh yeah, this thing. That's right. That thing I couldn't pick up. What about over here? Is there anything over here? Allow me. I could oh yeah, that's you. right. She said she could no, do it, and then she can. can't do it. Okay. That's right. I remember now. And then this chest was the exact same story. Wasn't anything else special over here. Okay. Actually, now I think about it. Uh, wrong button. There we go. Yeah, uh, yeah, Liliana's the closest to leveling up. So maybe I can rectify that problem. But for right now, not really doing anything at all. Hmm. Although, if this is the way to get up, should I really be doing that? Would that not piss them off? Doing it from this direction? Probably. This would probably piss them off even more and make them think I'm trying to do this violently when in fact I'm not. Because I'm trying to rectify that issue. I'm not trying to do this whole thing violently. If there's a non-violent way to do it, I'm willing to do that. I just don't see a lot of options in front of me. 
So we'll go back to the top level. We'll try that direction again. Because I kind of just skipped that entirely. Thinking, oh, I need to explore more things. And then I find, oh, there's two routes to get into the lair. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm going the right way. Cool. Well, I should probably do the one that will be the most likely to succeed on a peaceful end. As opposed to the way that will look like I'm trying to force my way in. And will piss everyone off. Oops, that is the wrong direction again. Oopsie doopsie. Also, I'm hoping I eventually get that key to open up that direction. But I just don't know if that'll work or not. Should be going this way. There we go. Ha ha. Alrighty. Okay. And this will be the path back. Wow, this is a long tunnel. Okay. This was... Me. I could do that for you. Oh, yeah? Can you? I'll do that. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Well. Just going to go back, and it was... There. Okay. Werewolf Lair. Is a simple turn in the other direction. I can do that. I think. <laughs> I mean, it was a simple turn in a different direction that led me all the way over here. So, I mean, I don't see why not. So, we'll go this way. Wahahaha. ha ha ha. And they've barred the door from the other side. Okay. Okay, so you're telling me that the other direction was the way I had to go. God damn it. All right. Well, time to fast forward this shit. Final all up. here we are we are here fast forwarding stopped and now we can continue in the way that the game was meaning us to my stupid ass just couldn't bother being less stupid the what okay okay now it lets me go up that was weird oh going down devouring corpse the what corpse gall oh gross is this the thing i needed to do for that other thing is that the thing i needed to do for the other thing uh not that um fact what was the thing uh there in potions no uh Hmm. Slain the Maleficarum. Okay. That was the thing I needed to do. Okay. Uh, ba ba da, ba ba da, ba ba da, ba ba da. Deep mushrooms.
Hmm. Weird. Uh, dereliction of duty. Remaining deserters and deal with them as you see fit. Grease the wheels. Okay. There's things. Eliana's past. No. Urn of sacred ashes. Um. Undressed his ashes. Okay, that was the thing. Drake scale armor. Okay. Uh, Cummins Lament. Hmm. Greater survival skill will be likely be needed to tell for certain. Okay, that's something I can do in the future. Uh, nature of the Beast. Okay. Okay. Um... I don't know what... I don't know what the corpse gall was needed for, but I remember it was a thing. I just don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, man. Okay. Well. I'll probably be able to toss it at some point if I don't actually need it that badly. Uh, okay. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, gee, bus. All right. I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm in heavy trouble. Oh, I'm dead. Joy, I'm dead. Oh boy, I'm very dead. I'm all the dead. I am literally all the dead. literally all the dead. Why couldn't I do anything? Literally all the dead. Okay. Alright. How long ago was the last save? Nice. It auto saved me here. Ain't that nice? I'm not picking that up again. <laughs> that at least saves me from having oh, to deal with that again. Enough. I'm gonna go over here. Can I get you a oh, you little shit! You little shit! Again, you do this. Again, you do this. Again, you do this. Again. Ow! You do so much damage doing that. You do so much damage. Okay. Alright. Alright. Well, that sucked. But the party survived. There's that at least. Okay, well, this helps. Well, that worked out, and now I have reason. <laughs> now I have reason to use that injury kit. Wahoo, okay. Oh, dear, okay. Uh, werewolf pelt, health poultice, werewolf pelt, and money, fire crystal, and. Werewolf pelt and money. Werewolf. Werewolf. I can't fucking say words right now. Drop right ahead. Oop. Oh. About that. Oh, for fuck's sake, this again. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna try this again. Okay, Malachite and Werewolf Pelts. Money. Okay, well, they are very much into ambushes. 
these guys. I didn't get anything out of that one. What the fuck? It's a ripoff. Salve. Okay. Well, that's okay, I guess. I just realized I'm not using any of my sustained abilities at all. No wonder I'm not doing really any damage. Of course. Okay. All right. Now I should be okay. Okay. Yes. Gonna have you deal with trap that. Right ahead. Oh, another trap. Cool. Well, we're going to have you. Ow! Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna adjust my chair a little bit because I have a weird itch on my leg. There we go. Now I'm going to stop making noises with my chair. Haha. -ha. Also, level up. Woo! Um. Bard. Yep, she is a bard. Um, should probably add to dexterity a little bit. Uh, willpower, a little bit too. And just to make that even, we'll do that. Okay. Um, stealing, that's a big no-no. We're not going to do that. Um... What should we do with you? Mm. Huh. Top tier weapon talents. Mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts their spellcasting. Mmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe... Maybe the trap. Maybe. Maybe a little bit of trapping stuff. Maybe. Alright, um... Rogue stuff. Mechanical expertise. That would help get into those things, which was what I was planning on doing. But let's see. Defensive fire. Huh. The master archer talent, the defense bonus increases. So this is essentially allows it to be defensive firing. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. But I think I'm going to go into Mechanical Expertise. Just because that would be very nice. Okay. Shale and Morrigan are basically close to a level up. I am the farthest I have ever been. But that's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Okay, let's deal with the chest. Fire arrow. Hmm. Just like you wanted. Also, who last had fire arrows? Was that me? Um Yes, that is me. Okay. Equip. There we go. Ha ha. Beautiful. Okay. I knew I was carrying it. That's all I <laughs> That's all I knew. <laughs> Oh, hi there! Again with this. Haha. -ha. Also, I realized I forgot again that, uh. There are plenty of good uses for our time that involve this. Although, should I really be using fire when it comes to where. Bad. Uh, fire's always good. Fire's always good. What am I thinking? Fire is always good. Always. What do we have over here in a pile of junk? Small dark spawn shield of red steel. Hmm. This jagged piece of metal was most likely torn from the walls of a dwarven fortress in the deep roads. And it was made of red steel. Geez. Okay, I guess I'll take it. Maybe because it'll be worth something? 
And how's my inventory looking at? 78. Crap. <laughs> Going to have to run back again at this rate. Come on, man. Come on, man. There's always going to be more crap. I already have plenty of that. It's fine. It's not like it'll add more. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I had to double check, though, because I was starting to not believe myself as I said it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the autosave. That tells me that I'm going to be in so much trouble in about five seconds. Oh, I'm... Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Give me a second. I'm going to save. Semi-proper. And then we'll move from here. Main reason I'm saving is they do look open to dialogue. So I'm hoping I can end this peacefully. Mm -hmm. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? Hell yeah. We are talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. The lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. So why doesn't this lady come and speak to me herself? We would not let her. We will protect our lady to our last breath. Mm -hmm. It may yet come to pass that you will kill the rest of us. But until then, we will not chance her coming to harm. Okay. If you were willing to talk, why didn't you do this earlier? Swift Runner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. Fair enough. I do appreciate that. Is your lady Witherfang? She is not Witherfang. But she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. But first, you must agree to parlay. Okay. The lady isn't Witherfang, but she can tell me of Witherfang. Then take me to this lady. It wishes to speak to these creatures. What is the point? We've slaughtered our way this far. What's a bit further? It is never a weakness to seek out alternatives, Shale. Fine. Arguing with that logic will just give me a headache, I swear. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. Fair enough. Can't blame you for that. What do we got? Okay, alright, you don't need to show off, but... The lady is also a werewolf, okay. Fair enough. I'll take that. Oh, no, she's not, but she is something. She does calm them as well. Okay. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the lady of the forest. Not, 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 not. Ah, uh, okay. All right, that's enough for that bit. Uh. <laughs> I must admit I was expecting another werewolf. No, that I am not. If I could have revealed myself sooner, I would have. Do not listen to him, lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? 
No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. As do we all, lady. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures. That their very nature is a curse forced upon them. True. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. Is that so? Such as? It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Oh. Okay, the audio broke here. When the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. Mm. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. Joy! The Dalish found her. What humans? She learned later she was with child. Mm. She killed. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I cannot blame her for that. I also uh, how okay. I understand why that would drive Zathrian insane. That's horrible. They deserved whatever they got. Indeed they did. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Okay. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed... But others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. So oh. the Dalish leader misled us. Yeah. It's not surprising, is it? Not no, too surprising. Just trying to picture his little elf head squishing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> they were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Mm -hmm. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Why did you ambush the Dalish? For revenge? In part. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who were long dead. Mm -hmm. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Well, the game has laid several options in front of me. I can just decide to come here to kill Witherfang, as was the plan. What happens to you doesn't matter to me. I'm assuming I kill everyone in this room. Or die trying. I can ask why Zathrian would agree to come here. I can persuade them to then just kill the Dalish elves. Which is a hell of an option to then take after I've come this far. 
or just outright agree to bring Zathran, or propose that he just wishes to cure his own people and not else, not anything else. I'm going to ask, why would Zathrian agree to come here alone? If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Hmm. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. And what if there's no way to break the curse? I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way, then he dies. Then they all die. Very well. I will go to that uh, Zathrian and tell him this. Then we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Will do. Shale approves! Ha <laughs> ha! Joy! Ooh! I could take stuff around here. Uh, blank vellum. That's fine. A lot of it's just basic loot, so I'm sure they're not going to be too mad if I take some of it. Ooh, there's a sarcophagus over here, too. And it's just a longbow. That's fine. That's fine, actually. Can I carry that? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, I'll take that. And I will sell it on my way out. The door... And then this is the quick way, I'm assuming. Ooh, treasure pile. Elf flight arrows. Hmm. Um. Plus six and chance to stun. These arrows are perfectly balanced and will fly more swiftly than the common arrow. Hmm. We'll go with that. All right, and this was the path out from the look of it. Ah, oh, yeah, this is the uh, quick way around. Okay. All right. Um, who are you? I'm going to save again. <laughs> real quick. Just real quick. Just real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, save done. Now I'm going to see who the fuck ah, is here. And here you are already. Zathran, what are you doing here? You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. I don't like this one. Can we not simply crush its head? <laughs> also, didn't he have hair? He wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? Wouldn't you like to know? So, you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the ruin? I've been sent to bring you back to the Lady of the Forest. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? She won't summon Witherfang unless you break the curse. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? I thought Witherfang was a male wolf. 
She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The mm -hmm. curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. But the werewolves have regained their minds. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. I assure you, the werewolves have regained their minds. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? But those crimes were committed centuries ago. I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my clan be. So your answer is to let them suffer forever? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? I might have, but who is being punished now? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I don't think it will come to that. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. Thank you. That's all I ask. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages. Worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Ah! People believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. Ah, no, that is not how it is. Can you blame him? Who wants to die? What could keep one going after so many centuries of life? Love? Or a bitter hatred that clutches at a heart that should long ago have ceased beating. I mean, the curse we're... would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Oh. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! 
For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! <laughs> you see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! You will end that curse if I have to force you myself. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Okay. Well, this didn't go well. Okay, well. Okay, well, quick heal. There we go. Alrighty, well, this is going about as well as I expected. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Ow. Oh, she's dead. She is dead. Uh, there we go. Okay, we are doing some decent damage to him, at least. No, no more. I, I oh, cannot. He yields. Cannot defeat you. Finish it. Kill him now. Oh, somebody, please kill somebody. <laughs> No! Come on, Shale. Don't kill him. Please, lady, stop him. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I cannot do it. Is that true, or are you just afraid of dying? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. Clearly. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us, let us put an end. It's over. She's gone. And we're human. 
I can scarcely believe it. You aren't going to miss all that strength and speed? Compared to the beast inside that we had to fight every moment, this is just fine. It feels glorious. So, what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. Shale and Liliana approve. And a skill acquired. A skill? Shale got a plot skill. So I got, I am assuming. No, no, it's just, just shale. She got a plot skill. Okay, that's weird. All right, I'm mildly confused, I think, but. Turn to the elves to tell them of Zathrin's sacrifice. Okay. I guess I go back and do that. Well, um, I guess I'll take that too. My <laughs> way out. Uh, which way do I go? I go this way, I guess. Alright, um... Cool. That, uh... That went in a way I was not expecting. Now, better than later. There we go. Ruins top level. And then we go home. I guess. Well, back to the camp. Close enough. Alright. And with that, I guess I might as well end the episode. Because there's nothing else really to do with this episode. Plus, we're very much over time. So, anyway... Uh, I'm just making sure I'm going in the right direction. No, I'm not. I go this way. Okay. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally dealt with the curse of the werewolves in the Brazilian forest. And, uh, oh. I guess it'll let me go back to the Dalish camp this way. I guess, kind of. I didn't expect that. But, hey, there we go. Makes it, the whole trek a lot easier, that's for sure. Come on. I don't... Fuck it. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm ending the episode. Uh, we'll... Uh, figure out where this puts us with the Dalish in just a little bit, I guess, next episode for you.